Today we're going to talk about ants. Well, you know, sometimes a freshly published scientific paper immediately captures the attention of the media. And then stories start blasting through the internet, often with all kinds of clickbait headlines, and without emphasizing the preliminary nature of the research. Well, uh, a recent paper that appeared in the Proceedings of the Royal Society was entitled Ants Act as Olfactory Biodetectors of Tumors in Patients-Derived Xenograft Mice. Well, that quickly turned up in all kinds of articles under the headline, Ants Can Sniff Out Cancer in Urine. You know what? In this case, the headline did actually reflect the research uh, properly, and the article did clearly point out that the findings were far from clinical application. Well, you know, it has long been known that tumors can give up characteristic smells, and that while these are undetectable by human noses, they can be sniffed out by animals that have far more sensitive noses. Dogs, of course, are the primary example. They can be trained to sniff out melanoma. Well, ants don't have noses. They have antennae that are equipped with receptors for pheromones. These are specific uh, chemicals that ants use to communicate with each other. Uh, when um, a group of scout ants finds a supply of food, they will lay down a trail of pheromones guiding the rest of the colony to the feast. It is not uncommon to see ants in a single file scampering across an invisible line. In this case, French researchers transplanted human breast cancer tumors into mice and collected the urine that they excreted. By placing some sugar water in front of the urine sample from the cancerous mice, the researchers trained ants to associate the smell of their urine with a reward. Ants, you know, love sugar. Indeed, ancient Greek physicians were able to diagnose diabetes by noting if ants gathered around the urine of a patient. When the French scientists gave the trained ants a choice of wandering towards the urine of healthy mice or that of the mice with the implanted tumors, the ants were more likely to congregate around the cancer urine. Interesting finding, given that early detection of cancer is of paramount importance for successful treatment, and that blood tests, colonoscopies, and biopsies are not always readily available. What's the next step? Well, maybe to see if ants can be trained to sniff out cancer in the urine of actual patients. Who knows? Maybe sometime in the future, doctors will carry around a little box of trained ants as urine testers, and uh, they will expose your urine to the ants. Just wonder, how would they get the ants back into the box? And that for today is our Cup of Joe.